Hello, welcome fam, game, squad, squad fam, welcome squad fam to, <laughs> to my channel. When I say I have no idea what I'm doing with my channel, this is what I mean. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be making vegan cookies for no other reason other than I want cookies. I know this is a completely different thing than what I do for my channel, but like I said before, I have no idea where I'm going from here. And I just thought this would be a really fun video to film. You're under no obligation to keep watching this. If this feels like a complete shit show to you, which it absolutely will be, just click away. Like, I, don't, I freaking don't care, right? I mean, like, I do, so like, do it, but like, don't tell me. I got this recipe from Blog Galatis in the year 2013. It's a pretty solid, and it is genuinely a pretty solid recipe. I mean, these are vegan cookies, so it's not gonna taste like any cookie that you've had that would have some flour, milk, and eggs in it. I'm sorry, I'm like eating chair legs right now while I'm recording. Let's freaking, uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's, 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 let's do the, uh, let's make, let's make cookies, yeah. Let's make cookies. You will need some oatmeal and just a banana. Now, I know this banana looks absolutely horrendous, and it is because it is just a little past right. Yeah, no shit, honey. Which is what happens when you put them in the fridge and in a last ditch effort to preserve their ripeness. It's still fine, it's just when you put them in the fridge for some reason, they brown a little faster, but they don't ripen faster. But yeah, like, use a banana that looks like a real banana. Don't use a green one though. I absolutely despise when people eat like bananas that still have like a little green on them and then they're like this banana is so sour like yeah of course it is true banana ripeness is at yellow with a little brown spots on them this is a little past its prime but it is so much better than the feeling of eating a yellow green banana oh, anyways we're gonna take this banana and the oatmeal in a bowl and then we're just gonna take this i use like a fork to both mash the banana and mix the oats. I was watching a lot of Game Grumps lately and I've been going through their Pokemon Fire Red <laughs> series. Now, I'm gonna I'm gonna go on a rant, like, don't get me wrong. I, I freaking love Pokemon. I started off playing Pokemon Yellow and then I played Gold and then I was watching like the Hoenn seasons of the anime. And when, when Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu came out, you know I got on that. I got Let's Go Pikachu and she is my best friend. I love her so much. So I have a bit of a soft spot for the OG Pokemon games, but especially for the original Kanto region. But every time I play through it, there's always like one thing about the storyline that has bothered me. And like every time I play through it, I'm always in denial that it's gonna happen again, and then it does. And it's the part where you finish bullying out on the SS Anne, and you've like comforted the captain, like you pat his back, and he's like, oh, I feel so much better. Now I'm gonna, here's HM cut, and I'm gonna, here, I'm gonna get this ship sailing now. And then and then when you get off the ship, it takes off. And it's so heartbreaking to me every time. And I think it's because like when it comes to playing games and especially RPGs, I get very invested in not just like the gameplay, but like I love catching every little detail of an RPG. And I'm also just like in denial about the fact that the game is progressing and I just don't want it to end. So it's always just been sad to me that this one section of the game, the SS Anne, becomes completely inaccessible once you're done with it. Like I want to be able to go back and talk to the captain and other people on the ship and I just don't want this game to end. Not to mention the ship doesn't set sail until the minute you step off of it. So now that everything has been mostly incorporated, I see that this is kind of thick. So what I do is take some almond milk, like a really tiny bit of almond milk. Oh, frick! And I just mix it around just to make everything a little bit wetter. So we have the main mixture done. It's not as thick as it was before, thanks to too much almond milk. I think I realized, like, I never want to get off the ship. Like, think about it. Given everything you know about the Pokemon world up until this point, this ship is the best thing to happen to you. It's literally a luxury cruise line that you get on for free. Since you get the ticket from famous computer guy Bill, you probably have, like, a pretty sweet room. That, that guy has to be loaded for the kind of setup that he has, right? And like, yeah, sure, the rest of us, having finished the game, know that like we're on track to beating the Elite Four and then beating your rival who had just beat the Elite Four, making you the Pokemon champion of the Cancer region, fine. But can't that wait? Plus, you already went around beating up everyone else's Pokemon. You just made this entire ship your bitch. Like, yeah, you can be the best Pokemon trainer in the Cancer region, or you can settle for being the best Pokemon trainer on the SS Anne. No matter how quickly you go through this game, your rival is always going to be one battle ahead of you regardless. So what's the rush? I don't know. I'm just like really questioning why it has to be coded in the game that the ship has to take off the minute you step foot off of it. It's such a shitty setup. Like you just had the time of your life on this luxury cruise line, remind you, and then they take it away from you and, and they make you watch. 
Like, it's kind of a mini cutscene, so they make you stand there and watch. How sick is that? I don't know why I end all my videos so sweaty, but here I am again, sweating up a storm. <laughs> this is gonna sound like kind of atrocious, but I'm gonna cook these in the microwave. You can bake them, but like, I don't have time for that. I cook it for about two minutes. And yeah, when we're done, I'll uh, show you how it up. Let's go. <sighs> these cookies are fresh out of the microwave. This is what they look like. Yes, they are literally stuck to the plate right now. Yeah, but like these cookies are done <laughs> and hot. Let me try this. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't even know what I talked about on this footage, but thank you for watching. And I hope you got something out of it. If not, a good laugh. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time. And um, yeah, I'm going to eat these cookies.